What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for you guys. And it feels like I haven't been behind the camera in a long time. That's because over the weekend I was in Dallas and not for the LMR event, which I wish I was out there for. I did not go out there for that, unfortunately. I was out there for a good reason though. It was Kiera's birthday weekend and she wanted to, you know, just hang out with me and she wanted to go to Dallas. So I figured out why not go but as for the channel i am back so if you want to give me a good you know pat on the back and go ahead and like the video while you're at it then i'll greatly appreciate that but as for the cobra here she is and i actually washed her before we went to dallas so i don't need to wash her i don't think but i do kind of need to spray her off because uh she's kind of filthy because of that long drive if you made a long drive more than three hours or so then you probably know that you might want to tape up the car beforehand but i didn't end up doing that so i have my little you know sprayer right here i'm gonna go ahead and spray her off and then we can get on with the video All right, so y'all probably can't see or can't tell, but it did not help one bit. If you want me to show you, then I could just, you know, show you a little sneak peek. But yeah, it did not help one bit by washing her off like that. I may need to wash her soon, but then again, I don't think I am gonna wash her soon just because if you know about what's been going on in Louisiana, it's been this tropical storm, uh, Barry. You probably can't tell just because of the exposure with the camera, but yeah, it's a, uh, Tropical Storm Barry is, I don't know what he's doing actually. It doesn't seem like it was that bad, thankfully, but we do have a pretty decent history of flooding and everything in Louisiana, and we are not trying to be part of that. But while I was in Dallas, the weather was beautiful. We didn't get any rain, anything. I couldn't complain while I was out there. But there is one thing that I want to show you guys that I did run into with the Cobra while I was out there. Uh, it's a pretty simple fix by the way, but I just I don't have the correct hardware to fix it And let me show you all this While I was out there, it actually has nothing to do with the engine finally But she's looking real nice under here kind of dirty, but the whole car is dirty I'm gonna end up getting the whole car detailed sooner or later, but this right here As you can see, I don't have any tabs holding my bumper up from the top so while I was out there, I was getting this rattle while I was driving. I would hit a bump and I would think that it was something dealing with my suspension or something underneath my car. Gladly it wasn't that and gladly I figured out it was just the bumper and these tabs. But uh, I do have quite a few tabs inside so let me run on ahead and get those. I almost forgot what I went in there for, as you can see. I went and got me some apples because, you know, apple a day keeps the doctor away. But, um, yeah, here are these clips that I have. And they actually are too big to go in these holes. As you can see, like, I did have one in at one time. This one actually came out also. But, uh, I could not use this part right here to put it into because, like I said, it's too big. And I did not want to drill these holes out any bigger just because there is original hardware that I can get. But I'm going to go ahead and just take the little part that goes inside of it and stick it through. And that'll be a good temporary fix. And just that simple. I got two in there. All right guys, so we have a brief intermission with the video and that's because we have some guys from Driver's Culture messaged me on Instagram saying he liked my content, all of that stuff. 
And I was very appreciative of his offer, so I went on ahead and told him, you know, uh, I really do appreciate that you watch my videos. I appreciate that you follow me on Instagram and had the courage to, you know, hit me up on in my DMs and was like, hey, I like what you're doing and I'd like to send you something. So I was like, okay, cool. And uh, like a little bit before I went to Dallas, I went on ahead and checked the PO box that I told him to send it to. And sure enough, he had to send me something. I actually, I kind of know what it is, but I was very stoked to receive it from him and he didn't really have to do that This just shows that y'all really do appreciate what I'm doing and I really do appreciate that y'all actually enjoy the content that I put out But uh enough of me going on and on. Let me go ahead and show you guys what he sent me All right, and I didn't mean to turn this into an unboxing video or a safety hazard video because I know y'all like to tell me how I handle my knives and things. But uh, just look at this knife once again. I do love the color of it. It's kind of like a neochrome-ish finish knife. But uh, I've had it for a while now. It might be time for me to get another knife if you ask me. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Okay. They sent me a hat. Let me unbox it a little bit more. We'll unbag it. Oh, wow. Wow. Feels really, like really good quality. A snapback, as you can see, snapback. And uh, on the front, it says, United by Speed, Driver's Culture, established in 2019. So he's a fairly new company. But uh, I really do appreciate this, like I said. and. Uh, yeah, if y'all, anybody wants to send me anything, then you can just look at the address I have below and you can feel free to send me anything, big or small. I even, I love stickers, just let me know. And I will put stickers on, I don't know. I might, uh, I might incorporate something in my room for each one of the stickers. All right. Something in my car with uh, but yeah, just send them to the address in the uh, description box below and I'll gladly unbox it or whatever it is on the channel and probably have a little segment on each video just showing that I really do appreciate this stuff. It's a classic, I see. But yeah, uh, I can't believe that I'm actually receiving stuff from you guys. I used to be a, like a real big hat person, but I'm kind of switching, but you know, I might get back into it. But uh, let's get back into this video. Uh, ooh, she sounds nice. All right, fellas. So, uh, now time for an update on the car. giving credit what credit is due and uh yeah they're a pretty fair product but all in all i can't complain about the car uh on the drive to dallas and the drive back the car did not disappoint me at all even though i pretty much took it all apart by myself well me and a couple of friends and uh yeah, uh, I was actually kind of skeptic about it. Actually, I was not the most confident with my own skills and my own doing of taking it apart and putting it back together, but it got me through and I can't be more proud of it. And one more thing that went on was my belt kept shredding. And uh, I don't know if I have a picture of the pulley, but I did have a bad pulley. It was actually the first pulley that I've ever changed on the car. And I don't even remember where I got it from, but it didn't look anything like the pulleys that I get now. And I got it all switched out and stuff, and hopefully you can see a picture of the pulley right now on the screen. But I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Uh, I pretty much found it by, when I finally took the belt off, I went and I was spinning each of the pulleys, and they were each spinning finely. And then I went to the idler pulley at the bottom, and it was spinning kind of funky like it was an oval shape kind of and i was like well that's definitely not supposed to be like 
was cracked. And I'm just glad that I found it out before I put the new belt on because that could have caused me even more problems. I hopped in my car now and I'm on the road to St. Francisville. Oh, look at my windshield though. <laughs> oh well. But I'm on the road to go pick up Bruce because he stayed at the vet in his little animal hospital while me and Kiara went on her little birthday date or whatever you want to call it over the weekend. So, you know, I'm going to pick him up. My little boy, he probably misses me and everything. And hopefully I might get to record while I'm picking him up. But if not, then you'll just see him in the car. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll just pick up the camera whenever we get him. All right, you guys, so I just picked up Bruce. Bruce, say hey to the vlog. Say hey to him, they won't see you. They ain't seen you in a while. Well, don't say hey then you don't have to say hey yeah now that i picked him up we're on our way home but there were a few things that i wanted to inform you guys about this video turned out to be a pretty short video and uh i mean i'm not too worried about how short it is but i did cover i feel like a lot of information and one of the future videos if not the next video i do plan on going over with you guys my plans on the car and my plans on future content and hopefully it goes the way i have planned but if not, because you know things tend not to go as how I plan them, uh, then I'll just, you know, make the best of it. But if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down in the section below and let me know anything you would want to tell me or anything you just want to get off your chest in the comment section. And uh, I'll be checking those out. Also, don't be afraid to send me anything using the P.O. box that I have in the description box. And I'll greatly accept anything with open arms. I don't care if it's anything from a gag gift to anything that's personal to you. But yeah, this just about wraps up the video. So always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve.